Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. Holy moly. Woo! Woo! What's going on, everyone? Everyone, relax. Everyone have a, a good time. Everyone, let us settle in for another fun stream. Everyone, lean back. And let's just relax. The reason I say that is because we had some drama in the stream chat today. Uh, I, I joined it me, like in the middle of progress. I didn't know what was going on. And I come in and everyone's angry at each other. And people are getting timed out. I'm like, oh, brother, I wasn't even here. You know, what's going on? So what I'll say before we even begin today, guys, I will preface it with this. Everyone, let's all relax. Let's all lean back. Let's all take a nice deep breath. <sighs> all right, nice deep breath. Let's all just kind of sit back and chill, right? And, uh... This is, it's time to have a good time, you know what I mean? That's the whole point here, is that we're going to try to have a good time. Um, and uh, and, ha and have a fun stream, a nice, fun, relaxing stream. Uh, and, uh, you know, without any nonsense. Without any freaking nonsense. And Jubbity Bubbity is banned. If you guys want to know why he just got banned, it's because he was harassing a, 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 a stream chatter earlier when I wasn't here. And he thinks that I wasn't going to see it because I can't see the logs or something. But guess what? I'm not blind. So good riddance to bad rubbish in Jubbity Bubbity who was harassing someone else. I will not tolerate that kind of stuff. Okay? I just won't. You know, that's the bottom line. I'm not going to tolerate uh, people harassing others. Uh, it's messed up. And, uh... You know, seriously, people need to, to learn to behave and realize that this is a fun chat where we lean back, we relax, we have fun together, okay? And it's not about, uh, oh, let's let's bully other people, let's attack other people, let's turn it into our own personal agendas against other people, okay? And not to say that, you know, some people are like, oh, well, one person was acting up. You're right, and they got timed out appropriately, you know, for, for doing that. Uh, but everyone just needs to relax, Ultimately, when it comes down to it, it's the job of, of me and the mods to handle stuff in the chat um, and nobody else's. I think what happens is sometimes you get people who get really, um, basically, they make it their own agenda to do stuff. Or, oh, well, you know, this guy uh, was saying something, so I should, uh, or, you know, I should be a bit of cheesy in the stream chat about it, right? Well, no, that's really not your job. You know what I mean? I have logs I can read. I can go back and chest check stuff, you know? <clears throat> so, everyone relax. Okay? Everyone just relax. Everyone just relax. That's all we gotta do is sit back and relax and get ready for a fun stream. All right, guys? All right. Now that I got that out of the way, no more drama. Um... How's everyone doing? I hope you're having a good day. Today is Thursday, August uh, 16th, 2018. And, um, you know, it's a good it's a good day. It's a good day. And uh, I hope that you guys are looking forward to a fun stream. What is this going to be? Well, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting stream, to say the least. Um, <sighs> hold on a second, because I'm actually in the midst of... Responding to something on my phone. I just got something I need to respond to really quickly. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Put the phone down, and now it's time to focus on the stream. <laughs> um, yes, so today's going to be a weird day, guys. What the hell are we doing today? Wow, are we doing something completely and utterly different than what's unusual stuff that I would do. Okay. Um, we're returning to a game that I did a playthrough of two years ago. And allow me to give some background, because some people are not going to understand what the heck's going on and why I'm doing this. All right. I want everyone to understand what, what's happening here. Okay. Um... Basically, three years ago, I was doing a Patron's Choice event, and Persona 4 became the game that won the Patron's Choice. I played through Persona 4, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was a really just top-grade JRPG. 
It was a franchise that I had never played before, and it was really fun and unique and interesting with in a lot of ways, and I just very much enjoyed the game. So about a year later, um, for another Patron's Choice event, uh, Persona 3 was the game that was selected. Okay. Now, that being said, I want you to under, guys to understand something, because 2016 versus 2018, some things have changed. What I decided to do is now, when I do a Patron's Choice event, uh, it's a full playthrough. So, for example, if the patrons nominate and vote on a game and it wins a poll or whatever, I play through that whole game. Um, back then, it wasn't. Back then, the way it worked was that I was basically guaranteeing like 10 to 15 hours of gameplay, depending on the game. And then I have to say, at my discretion, if I like the game enough, then I would continue with it. All right. So there was no obligation back then for me to finish up a playthrough or anything like that. Today it's different. I changed it. I actually directly changed the series, or the, the 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 event. Uh, based off of feedback of what people said. Well, no, if you do page and choice, we want you to finish the game, okay? So it's different now than how it used to be, all right? But, that being said, um, two years ago, I played Persona 3 all the way to the end, okay? I got to the final dungeon, which was a grind. I remember the final dungeon is a grind, and also it is a gauntlet, okay? Got to the final boss, and the final boss has the ability to charm your party, okay? When they charms your party, your party immediately starts healing the fucking boss. And it's ridiculous because you're like, oh, that's not so bad. He'll just heal it and then you can just, you know, fight or whatever. No, full heal. Basically, everyone in, the, in my party had heal spells because you need them for these boss fights, right? And everyone does fucking full heal to the boss. So, this boss fight, you know, grinding takes like, what, 20 minutes, 30 minutes... Ended up going longer and longer. I remember once, I've it was 45 minutes, and I couldn't kill the fucking boss. Because he just kept full healing. Full healing. Um, so I did it twice. I did it twice. Um, we're going to going through, you know, this grind to get to the final boss. And he would just keep doing it. And that was and I was so frustrated at the time. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. There was a lot of factors going on. Just so you guys understand. See, now you guys know a lot more, more better behind the scenes the stuff that was going on with me. Uh, you know, a few years ago, but I was very stressed out about many things that were going on in my life at the time. And basically, you know, I was using my streams as an escape. My the gameplay streams were an escape from the stress of my, my real life. So for me to be playing a game and now this game is like fucking me over and causing me monstrous stress on the streams, I basically lost it. Okay. And I said, I'm just not doing this anymore. I'm not, I'm done. I wasted like hours here. Okay, I wasted hours on this fucking bullshit with this final boss. This final boss is terribly designed. It shouldn't have the ability to charm you and then have you auto-heal the fucking boss over and over and over. It's a nightmare. It's really bad, and I'm just tired of it, and I quit. And I said, I'm not doing this anymore, all right? Now, at that time, of course, many, many people got angry with good reason because they were like, man, you played this long-ass fucking game, right? You played this long ass game and you got to the end and now you're not going to finish it. And I was like, yeah, fuck this. I'm so pissed off at this fucking game, you know? And I, in, rea in reality, like I said, it really was other stuff as well. Other outside factors of my life were, were I was already stressed out to my limits and then having to play a game that was going to fucking piss me off and stress me out. I was like, this is kind of the focus of my ire. You know what I mean? <clears throat> So, I said, enough of this. I'm just not going to do this anymore. Okay? So. That being said. Okay? That being said. People have asked me for the past two years, would I ever go back and finish Persona 3? And honestly, I was like, nah. You know, I don't really care. Now, some things have changed. I, I think, I've, as a person, I've mellowed out a lot. Um... I'll be honest with you guys. Mentally, I'm in a much better state now uh, than I than I was two years ago. Just being very honest with all of you, I am. Things are like you know, I, I live with with Cat now. My girlfriend is so such an awesome person. It makes my life so much better. And the streams now, as you guys know, are much better. I love hanging out with you guys and chilling with you guys and just having fun on the streams rather than it having to be everything back then used to be super serious. And if you remember, I wasn't streaming on Twitch then, so it was like a a, a, a a much more different kind of a streaming experience. Okay, um, now things are like much better. So my work is more relaxing and more fun. 
um, and more interactive. My real life is, is much better than it used to be. So, basically, everything is a lot better. Okay, let's just put it that way. Everything is a lot better in my life. So, here's what happened. And here's really why I'm playing this today. Okay? Um, tomorrow, I'm doing a special event. I don't know if you guys are aware. Tomorrow is going to be my rage event. Where I'm going to be doing a marathon style. And I'm going to be playing a wide variety of games. I mean, fighting games, sandbox games, uh classic uh, takes on classic platformers uh just some really interesting stuff that basically games that either number one i've already played and people know will probably cause me to rage or number two games that people know that will cause me rage I'll f just playing them for the first time all right now because because two years ago all right i rage quit this game persona 3 persona 3 was a top candidate of a game to be played on this rage -a event and basically, I talked back and forth with the people who, you know, the patrons who were nominating and voting on the games. And I said, you know, I honestly don't think that Persona 3 is going to fit into the event. And the reason being, the event is meant to be like an hour to an hour and a half for each game. And just playing Persona 3 for an hour to an hour and a half, I might not even get to the final boss. If you remember the grind that it takes to get through the game. I remember there's another boss I have to fight before I even get to the final boss, okay? Um, you know, I don't even know if I would be able to do it, Okay. Um, so, you know, I was worried, I was concerned that this was not going to be a game that would fit the event. What if I play it during the rage -a marathon, I play it for an hour and a half, and no one even gets to see the final boss or nothing? That would be incredibly disappointing, and I'd feel like it would be a waste of time. So I said, all right, you know what? Fair enough. Here's what we're going to do, all right? I'm going to go back for one stream, and I'm going to go back and try to beat this damn game. All right. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If I play this game for all stream, four hours or more of gameplay, and I can't fucking beat it, I don't give a fuck, okay? Like, I'm giving it a good chance here. I'm taking time out of my schedule, when normally I would much rather be playing other games, to go back and say, I want to finish this unfinished project because people have asked for it for two years, and I'm going to be much more re receptive to what people want, so let's just do it, okay? But if I don't fucking beat this... Seriously, like, I'm not going to go back and keep trying and keep trying. It's just not worth it, you know? This is a classic example of in a JRPG, you need to know what's coming in order to properly face it. And you need to do research and you need to basically kind of prepare. Because this happens in JRPGs from time to time. They put a roadblock in that's so ridiculous that unless you have a, a special situation or special uh, loadout, whatever, right? You're going to get fucked. So in this case, when you get to the final boss, if your whole team has healing spells, you're fucked. If your whole team uh, can be charmed, you're fucked. And even then, even if I have one or two characters who I somehow make it, um, that they cannot be charmed or whatever, it still doesn't guarantee that I'm not going to get screwed over. And by the way, Momogoon, that is a really exceptionally cool emo. <laughs> Where did you get that from? It's like a freaking one-star Dragon Ball. Look at that thing. That is cool, dude. That It literally just made me lose my train of thought because he did this really cool emote with a cheer. And it like, whoa. It's like It looks like a one-star shiny Dragon Ball. That was really cool. Is that what it's supposed to be? I don't know. All right, anyway. But anyway, okay. Um, I really want to try to finish this today. I do. I genuinely, after two years away... I want to come back. I want to wrap this up. One of my big unfinished projects and, and one of the, the notable rage quits of my 10-year career as a content creator, you know. I want to say, I went back and this one didn't beat me. All right. So, there you go. Um, That's what we're doing today. Now, I know many of you may not be interested. You might be saying, well, it's a fucking old-ass JRPG. I didn't care about when Phil played it the first time. He's coming back now. I don't give a shit. Fine. Understood. Get it. I get it. The reason I'm doing this, as I explained, is because the rage -thon is tomorrow, and I wanted to basically satiate those who were wanted to see this game be beaten for two years, and let's just do it, all right? That's going to be today's first gameplay stream, and the cool thing about this, all right, um, the cool thing about this is that, number one, now my streams are way more interactive, so I'm going to be asking you guys for your help. What, what do you recommend I do to, fi to beat this final boss? What is uh, the key here to getting past this hurdle that has be beaten me, you know, two years ago so badly? 
You know, I'm going to need your help, guys, because real talk, I haven't played this fucking game in two years. I'm probably not going to remember the enemies, their weaknesses, none of it. It's none of it. I'm not going to know any of it. I'm going to need your help, okay? So that's number one. But number two, to finally say, all right, we got it done, okay? So let's hope that we can get this done today. I really hope so, okay? I really hope so. Okay. Now, that's today's mainstream. The other cool thing is we might see the end of Persona 3. Not that it's going to matter because I'm not going to remember shit. <laughs> like, I don't really remember much about the plot of the game because it's been two years. So, wow, here's the epic conclusion. Wow, that's great. I don't know what the fuck's going on because I don't remember this playthrough. <laughs> well, I guess we'll see what happens, okay? I guess we'll see what happens. Okay. All right. Now, tonight, I'm going to do some Street Fighter tonight, guys. People have actually been asking me for a, a, an actual solid stream of Street Fighter for a while. And I'm going to do one tonight. Hopefully, we get matches because it's very hit or miss whenever I play the Street Fighter Anniversary Collection, if I get matches or not in particular. I can't seem to get any matches in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo anymore, which sucks because it's my favorite game in, in, you know, Street Fighter history. But, hey, whatever. If I got to play Third Strike, we'll do some Third Strike tonight. Should be a fun, more more interesting and laid-back Street Fighter stream tonight, okay? Tomorrow's the rage All right, tomorrow is the rage Seven hours of me playing various games that are going to probably piss me off, all right? Uh, but I know that. I know what I'm, I'm in for going into it. In fact, tonight i got to download some games. i got to download Street Fighter V. Uh, I'll re-download UFC 3 um, just in case. That's like the backup game if we get through everything else. Um, I, I know I want to be the guy and Cat Mario are just basically games you play real quick on the PC. And I, I want to be the guy installed. And Cat Mario is a Flash game I can just bring up and load up whenever I need it. Scarface I got. I dug the game out. From my stack of games, it's ready to go on uh, original Xbox. Uh, whenever I, you know, we get to it, um, I have to download God Hand tonight. That game I do not have. I have to get it on my PS3. God Hand for the stream tomorrow. Okay, um, so tomorrow should be a lot of fun. I hope you guys will swing by tomorrow and hang out with me for a day of fun. You know, basically a day where I know I'm going to be pissed off all day, but it's okay. That's the point of the event. So it's more of a lighthearted event. It's not like, oh, God, it's super serious, and now I'm going to be all angry all day. It's going to be more like laughing at how ridiculously bad I'm getting my ass whooped in certain games and the like. I mean, Street Fighter V, I haven't played in over two years, guys. There's no chance I'm going to win a single fucking match in Street Fighter V. I don't even remember the basic game mechanics of the effing game, dudes. Like, there's no way I'm going to win anything in that game. It's just impossible. I'm just going to get my ass handed to me the entire time I play, Okay. There's half the cast I haven't even seen in action before. So, so all that being said, tomorrow should be a fun event. I hope you'll join me for that. Saturday's my day off. Now, here's the other thing, guys. This is another big announcement I have to announce. So, I've been playing We Happy Few uh, this last week. And I'll be honest with you guys. I like the game before its plot. Um, and for uh, some of the fun missions and things I've done in it. I do feel that the game mechanics are a little bit kind of basic. You know, the combat leaves something to be desired. But the game runs like shit. The game runs at an awful frame rate. The game crashes. The game has tons of fucking bugs to the point where it's just basically a glitch fest. And every single time I've played it now, there's been a ridiculous glitch that just makes the game look stupid. Um, to the point where last time I was playing it and my viewers were like, don't play this anymore. I was like, wow, really? You feel that strongly? About this game, and basically everyone on stream last night, you know, hundreds of people, this wasn't like five people, there were hundreds of people on stream, and they're like, we don't like this game, we're, we don't play this anymore. Maybe come back to it later, <clears throat> if they p patch it, and they fix it, and they make it better, but the fact that every time I reload, it takes three to five minutes to reload, no, that's not an exaggeration, the game actually takes three to five minutes to load, every time it needs to boot, um... The fact that the frame rate's terrible, the fact that it crashes, there's bugs, it's just a, me a mess, okay? Basically, people are saying, don't play it anymore, all right? So, here's what I think I'm going to do. I'm not saying necessarily I'm never going to play it again, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to purposely not play it for a while until we hear that they are going to patch it and make it better, because right now, it plays so poorly that it's if my viewing audience can't even have fun with it because it's so poorly optimized, you know, why am I going to force myself through it, Okay? Now, here's the deal, though. That was going to be the game that I was going to balance with Shenmue next week. And, you know, it was going to take us into the end of the month. So what this now means is that I now have free time next week uh, to, to do something else. And the question is, what do I do? Okay, what do I do? Um, 
I kind of shrug. I said, well, what am I going to do in place of it? Okay. So let's see. Let's see. All right. I had some ideas last night. I actually talked to Kat. She had an idea. All right. So here's some ideas, guys. All right. I'm going to throw these by you guys. Number one, we do something like a rare indie game. And I almost never play indie games. Maybe I check out one of these indie games that you guys have been recommending to me recently, like Dead Cells, or what was that other one that someone had mentioned? There's like another one that just came out. And people are like, check out an indie game. The thing is, and the reason why I'm very skeptical, very fucking skeptical about doing indie games, is most people don't care about them. I'll play them, and even if it's like the best indie game on the planet, um, people are like, well, it's an indie game and we don't care, and then streams are way slow. No one really cares about them. All right? And it's like... I just don't know, what's the point if no one cares? You know what I mean? It could be the best game on the planet, but if no one cares about me playing it, then why am I playing it? You see what I mean? And this has happened a few times over the years. Games like Ori and the Blind Forest, Child of Light, Salt and Sanctuary, uh, Darkest Dungeon. All these games, you know, oh, I'm going to play them. And no, well, this sucks. It's an indie game. I don't care about it, right? <laughs> so I kind of sh shrug, and I'm like, well, then I guess there's no point, right? Now... Another idea I had would be to finish up the trilogy, the unholy trilogy of classic GTA games as part of my 10th anniversary celebratory event. Earlier this year, much earlier this year, I played Grand Theft Auto San Andreas HD, and just a couple weeks ago, I played Grand Theft Auto Vice City HD. So there's one game that remains unplayed. It's the hardest of all of them. It's called Grand Theft Auto 3, ladies and gentlemen. It's a game that originally when I played it back in 20... Was it 2012, I think? It basically destroyed me. I remember having so many fucking problems with Grand Theft Auto 3. Fail after fail. Glitch after glitch. I didn't even beat it legit. I didn't. I cheated to beat it. Because I couldn't fucking beat it. I was so angry at how hard the end of the game was. Now what you guys gotta remember is a couple things. Number one, Grand Theft Auto 3 was the first of the modernized... Grand Theft Auto is the sandbox style. I'd never played one before. So for me, it was like a newbie coming into the series. I didn't know anything, and that's why I think I was dying so badly, you know. Now I've played all of them multiple times. It's like I probably will do better. Number two, I was playing on an original PS2 plugged into an HDTV causing monstrous input lag. So I was trying to play the game with tons of fucking delay. As you guys saw... <clears throat> You know, earlier this year when I played both San Andreas and Vice City, I did tremendously better playing those games the second time around because I was doing it with no delay, okay? So, it would be Grand Theft Auto 3, however, all right, however, it would be with no music, just like Vice City, just like fucking, you know, San Andreas. There's nothing I could do about it. I would have to play it without any music, okay? Um, that's another option. So, the two options so far would be an indie game or Grand Theft Auto 3. The third option would be Dark Souls 3, The Redemption Run. And what this would be is on PlayStation 4. And you might be saying, whoa, what? Yeah, well, here's the deal. Kat owns Dark Souls 3 on PlayStation 4. She bought the remastered edition of it that has all the, the, the content redone, all the patches. Basically, it's like the best version of the game, you know? I believe on th in this version, at least to some extent, they fixed the frame rate. And they also made it so that there's not monstrous input delay like there was the first time I played the game on Xbox One. Oh my god. The first fucking time I played at Dark Souls 3 on Xbox One, it was so monstrously fucking delayed. I was so angry at how delayed the fucking game was. Because I couldn't even beat certain bosses. Because I couldn't dodge. And, you know, it was really bad. Okay. So... What I'm saying is Dark Souls 3, all right, Dark Souls 3, kind of a second run through. Would I do all the DLCs? I'm not promising that because I don't know how much time I'm going to have. What you guys got to realize is that I'm also going to be balancing that with Shenmue and then with Fire Pro Wrestling World the end of August. And then in early September, we've got games like Dragon Quest XI, Spider-Man, etc. So there's going to be other stuff coming up that, that's going to trump that. So more than likely, if I did do Dark Souls 3, it would just do a run through the standard game, no DLC content, all right? <clears throat> so all that being said, um, I'm not sure. Those are just, uh, these are just options, all right? And the thing is, I know, I realized that I just played Vice City, and I also just played Bloodborne. So for me to play either of these games, Grand Theft Auto 3 or Dark Souls 3, for this kind of filler content for the end of August, 
that neither of them were like optimal choices. I don't really think there is an optimal choice. I think the problem here is we all were expecting We Happy Few to at least be a functional game, which it's not. And it sucks now that I kind of have to throw it away and do something else, you know. I wasn't planning on doing that, you know what I mean? Um, so I kind of shrug and I'm like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to do. So here's what I'm going to do, I think. This weekend, uh, I'm going to put up a poll on my Twitter. And I'm going to ask you guys, and by the way, I should say this, ultimately the poll is not 100% going to determine what I do. I have, the, uh, I have the ability, if I have a real strong feeling about it, to make an executive decision on what I want to play. All right. But I think that I will do a poll on my Twitter uh, on my day off, which is Saturday, and you guys will vote. Would you rather see Dead Cells? Would you rather see... What was the other one? Someone said it in stream chat, and I fucking didn't write it down because I'm an idiot. There's two indie games right now that are hot. One's Dead Cells. What's the other one? Do you guys remember what it is? There's two really hot indie games right now that everyone's talking about. No, not Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight's older. It's not Hollow Knight. It's another, There's another one. That just came out that everyone seems to be talking about. Death's Gambit. That's I don't even know what that is. I have no idea what Death's Gambit even is. Okay? So maybe I'll do a four-option poll. Dead Cells, Death's Gambit, Grand Theft Auto 3 HD, and a Dark Souls 3 Redemption run. And based on what people vote, that will probably end up being what I do, balanced with Shenmue, and then balanced with Fire Pro Wrestling for the end of August. That'll be a strong finish to August. And then we get new games starting right up in early September. So that could be a good way to finish it, right? Um, so there you go. So ultimately, it'll depend on what people vote. You know, I, I, and I'll, you know, some people will get angry. Oh, I didn't get what I wanted. You know, listen, I, 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 this is the only real way that I can do it that it makes sense. You know what I mean? Um, people will always be upset when they don't get what they want. And I understand that. And I understand this is a weird situation too where normally, okay, guys, normally it wouldn't be like this. Normally, I would have stuff to do, but this is just a weird situation where there was a game I was planning to play for a couple of weeks, and the game just isn't very good because it's so poorly optimized, and so I have to do something else, and we have to find a suitable replacement, okay? Sound good? All right, so that's the deal. It's up to you guys this weekend to figure out what I'm going to be playing next next week, all right? All right, guys, so here's the deal. I'm already gone 26 minutes, 27 minutes on the pre-stream. Um, and I totally don't want to go an insanely long pre-stream. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say the plugs very quickly. Ready? Please check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. If you pledge and support, uh, you can get some cool perks. The best perk, in my opinion, is if you pledge $5 or more to my Patreon, you'll be nominating and voting on indie games for an indie games marathon coming up in the fall. But there are other perks too, so give it a look. And thanks to anyone who does consider pledging. Also, please check out my Teespring. My new Teespring line of 10th anniversary merchandise just launched. And it's really popular already. I've gotten many orders for it. Um, I, I own three of the shirts. They're really good. I've been wearing them on streams recently. Check it out. Teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash DSP Gaming. All right. If you're on the stream today and you want a shout out, if you either cheer, sub, or tip, I will give you a shout out. But please be positive and don't bring in negativity. Don't bring in drama. We already had a discussion at the beginning of this pre-stream that we're not going to have any of that today. Everyone just kind of relax, okay? Um, if you want to get a visual recognition for a contribution, if you either cheer 50 bits at one time or you subscribe to the channel and then click the share button after you do so, or you tip me $5 or more in one go, uh, I will give you a, a, an animation that will play on the screen. All right, and plus I'll give you your verbal shout-out too. As you guys can see, there's a Stream Stats leaderboard, so people who are the top cheerer and top tipper for the day will get up on that leaderboard. All right. In addition, if you subscribe to the channel, you help out, obviously, but also you get some cool things, like you get access to my emotes. You also don't have to watch ads, and you get a cool chat crown badge to show how long you've been a supporter. If you're interested in tipping me rather than cheering or subbing, uh, you can do that. Okay. How? Check, look below the stream. There's a button that says tip jar. If you click on that button, it'll take you to my tips page where you can either be anonymous or leave your name in a message. Or if you just type an exclamation point tip into the stream chat, it'll bring up a link where you can click on that and tip me via that way. I am incredibly grateful for any contributions during today's stream, guys. Right now, your, your support is very much appreciated, especially because YouTube, all the nonsense that's been going on on YouTube that really kind of screwed me over. All right. And in that regard, you know, right now, Twitch is my lifeblood. If you guys love my streams, you want to see me continue to do this on a daily basis, full time, and bring you fun, entertaining content, please consider contributing in any of the various methods that I have mentioned. Okay? All right. How about that for quick plugs? 
That was pretty abridged, huh? You guys think I should just do it like that every day? Because I'm okay doing that as long as people still contribute. Then I'll do it that way. What did you guys think of that? All right. Let's now do shout-outs for people who have contributed during today's stream. Okay? Um... Hold on a second here. Trying to scroll. What the hell? Oh, my laptop's all locked up. I hate when that happens. Okay. Okay, so. Overnight, we had a couple people who contributed. And I just want to say thank you to those who did. Number one, Infinite55 did a 500-bit cheer. Thank you, Infinite, for the cheer. And also, Golden Colts cheered 30 bits. He says, the ads never work anymore. Well, yeah, I apologize, Golden Colts. Sadly, you know, it, it, it's hit or miss. From what I've heard, sometimes the ads to watch ads and earn bits work well. And then other times they don't. Uh, sometimes it could be literally what time of day you're watching, I've heard. Um, so I'm not sure. You know, I don't know much about that. But hey, Golden Colts, good to see you. I haven't seen you around in a while. And go always good to see you swinging by. Thank you for the support. Okay. All right, now let's move on. Now let's move on to those who have uh, contributed while the stream was live. We've got Ornites who cheered and said, restructure your team. They all had Diahan, which, by the way, if you don't know, Diahan, guys, is the full heal spell in Persona 3. He says, when they get uh, slapped with charm status, you'll be left in a long, drawn-out battle. Instead, equip the null charm accessory on either yourself or someone you found the most useful. All right, if I have a null charm accessory, fair enough, I'll equip it, and we'll see how that works, okay? The Vietnamese comrade has received a gifted sub from Infinite. Congratulations to the Vietnamese comrade. Third Eye the Third also received a gifted sub from Infinite. Congratulations to Third Eye the Third. And guess what? The New Face of Creation also received a gifted sub from Infinite. So congratulations to the New Face of Creation. And of course, thank you to Infinite for all these gifted subs. It is very much appreciated. Grazy Dream did a 100-bit cheer to become the cheerleader for today so far. And he says, have you listened to very early Genesis with Peter Gabriel? I'm sure I've heard Genesis before. Um, in fact, what's funny is... A lot of the times, there's songs that, that I know from, like, the 80s that I can, like, hum or sing every part of it, and I don't even know who the song's from. So, like, you're saying Genesis, and seriously, I can't remember a single song that Genesis did, but I guarantee you if you mentioned one, I would know what it is. I guarantee it. <laughs> so, yeah, Genesis. And I remember they were a good band um, back in the day. Okay, shout out to The Honest Troll. Well, actually, shout out to Infinite, who gives it another sub. To the Honest Troll. So congratulations to the Honest Troll. And thank you again, Infinite. Incognito Burrito also did a 100-bit cheer. And that ties with Crazy Dream. So let's get him up there. Shit, how do you spell his name? Ah, oh, fuck. Son of a bitch, hold on. There we go. Incognito burrito. How could you be a burrito that's incognito? Is it in disguise? Does it look like something else? Is it a burrito that looks like a chimichanga? <laughs> okay. Thank you, incognito burrito, for the cheer. <clears throat> uh, moving on. Rock the Ice cheered. He says, are, are you or can you go back and grind before the final fight? Well, I, you, in order to get to the final fight, I have to go through the dungeon, which takes, from if I remember correctly, like a half an hour to an hour anyway. Plus, I believe there's another boss I need to fight. Before the, the final boss. So, I'm going to be doing combat anyway. Um, let's see here. Hardy Buck cheered. He says, the ideal game for a rage would have been Amy. Oh, God. Well, the reason Amy was rage is because the game was a piece of shit. Like, it really... I would say that, you know, We Happy Few is a bad game because it, it's poorly optimized. When the game finally gets kind of fixed, alright, the game has potential to be hugely good. Alright? Hugely good. If it can get fixed. Right? Um, but that being said, um, Amy's just a bad game. It's just poor game design. Really poorly designed game. No idea what the fuck you're supposed to do in certain parts of it. No real guidance on what the fuck to do. Like, just shit. The game is just a shit sandwich. A shit sandwich between two moldy pieces of fucking bread with, you know, some fucking earwax marmalade slapped on there for, for extra flavor. It sucked. That game was one of the worst I've ever played. Amy was terrible. Okay. Hardy Book cheered again. He says, De playing Dead by Daylight right now because it's free, a fun, addicting game. Maybe play it again during Halloween with the surge in popularity and players. Um, yeah, maybe. You know, here, here's the deal. Uh, in September, 
the subscriber goal for my my channel here on Twitch is going to be a Halloween event, doing a fun Halloween marathon like I usually do every year. Uh, if we hit a certain subscriber goal, I'm going to be uh, doing that. And I may even do like a sub two goal, a tier two goal, where people can help to choose what kind of Halloween costume I get or something like that. Uh, and if I do the Halloween marathon, like I usually do, uh, people will be able to nominate and vote on games. And, you know, yeah, Dead by Daylight, I own it. I bought it years ago when it first launched. Uh, so I would be more than happy to play it again if there's a surge in popularity or whatever, right? <clears throat> okay. Shout out to Momo Goon, who did a 1,000 bit cheer and is excited for Persona 3. Good luck. All right, well. Let us get this person up there as the top cheer for today. And by the way, they use that cool, like I said, that one-star Dragon Ball emote it was pretty cool. Um, and it actually completely distracted me when he used it. So thank you very much. Top cheer of the day. Appreciate it. Hardy Buck cheered us and message deleted. Yes, everyone was joking around message deleted earlier. Har, har, har. Har, har, har. Hilarious. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's see here. Ripley Atomic cheered and said, this was my very first time watching a Persona game, so I'm mentally preparing myself for it. Oh, really? You didn't want... Wow. Honestly, Ripley Atomic, you may want to go watch Persona 5. Like, that is the modern version, right? This is a game that's very outdated. It's 10 years old. So, you know, it has a lot of, uh, a lot of outdated stuff in it, in my opinion. That's what I said when I played it. I said the game's good, but it has a lot of outdated things in the engine that I think could be a lot better. And of course... You know, Persona 4 was much improved, and then Persona 5 was, like, the epitome, I think, of what the series could be. It was so good. So, yeah, prepare yourself. Outdated graphics, some outdated gameplay mechanics. Yeah. Um. So, the real soy boy cheered, and he says, So Sax Fionix says if you make narcissistic, and you get his heart item called the narcissistic flower, it prevents, excuse me, it prevents charm. Give it to Aegis. Because I guess is the only party member in your party that can fully heal the boss. Okay. So basically, completely nullify charm for I guess. So I have to... F I hope I already have it. People were saying I already had the item and I just didn't use it. I don't believe that. I think maybe I don't have it. So maybe you're right. Maybe I do need to make a certain persona. I don't know. We'll have to figure this out, guys. We're going to have to figure this out. Like I said, I'm going to need your help to figure this shit out. All right? So please, if you can help when I start playing and give me advice on what to do, if I need to make this narcissist... Uh, Persona in order to get this this accessory. Yeah, man, whatever. Whatever. I need your help. Okay. Um R P R B P A 114 cheered us says, Hi Paul. I can't wait to see you play today. He's calling me by my middle name. I don't know why. <laughs> Cindy did a 25 bit cheer. Says, Will you play Shenmue in English or Japanese voices? Uh English. I never played the original game, and quite frankly. Uh, I think I want, I just want to hear the real, vo the, the voices and understand them rather than have to read subtitles constantly. So I'm going to be doing it in English. Um, <clears throat> and here we go again. RBPA 114 shoot again says, I hope Nick's goes well for you, Patrick. I can't believe it's the guy. I don't know what this guy's talking about. I think he's trying some meme or something. I'm lost, but whatever. Big musky werewolf balls chilled and uh, ch chilled. <laughs> he chilled, but then he also cheered and he said, Dark Souls three again, Philium. Also, yo. So his vote is that I do Dark Souls 3 next week, okay? Well, I guess we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm probably going to put it to a vote and see what people vote for, all right? Um, the Real Soy Boy cheered and said, is there a game you and Kat are interested in playing together? Honestly, right now, no. We are, The one game that we were kind of talking about was when the new Wolfenstein comes out, whenever it does, because, you know, it is in development right now, but we don't know much about when exactly it's coming out, all right? Um... Yeah, uh, basically, whenever that comes out, it's it's co-op. And we were talking about maybe we'll do that because we both love the Wolfenstein series. And that's our style of game. And it'll probably be a fun co-op playthrough together. So, uh, Chad Mary did a 74-bit cheer and then said a stupid meme that I'm not going to repeat. But thank you for the cheer. Um, RBPA cheered again. And he did another thing saying someone else's name. I don't know what he's talking about, but thank you for the cheer. Hyperior21 did a 100-bit cheer. He says, good luck beating the final boss. I can only stick around until around 1230. And I'll probably be back around 3. Well, we'll see. I don't re I don't even remember how long it takes to get to the final boss. Because like I said, I know I have part of the dungeon I need to redo. And then I think there's a boss fight that I need to do in the dungeon before the final boss. So it's like a fight on top of a fight on top of a fight. Which is why it frustrated me that after I lose the final boss, i got to redo so much. So... <clears throat> 
Hardy Book Cheery says, well, you know, at least if you mute the soundtrack of Grand Theft Auto 3, you're not missing much. Well, yeah, and that's kind of cool. It's true that, you know, the soundtracks of Vice City and San Andreas, a lot of people are like, oh, those people, those are parts of the game, integral parts of the game. And if you don't have the soundtrack, you're missing out. I don't think GTA 3 is that big of a deal. Like, yeah, there's some good music, but it's not, for example, it's not, it's not, uh, it's not iconic like the music of those other games, right? In fact, I don't think it was until Vice City that the music of Grand Theft Auto became like an iconic part of it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, not a big deal if I mute the music. I don't think so. Okay. Um, Rock the Ice cheered and said, Well, Dark Souls and GTA have been done to death on your channel. Give them some time to breathe. Play something you're not expected to play to freshen things up. Well, Rock the Ice, like I said, I'd be willing to do an indie game like Dead Cells or... <clears throat> what was the other one? Now, I forgot it again. Dude, I, I seriously need to write the fucking names of these games down. I seriously can't remember the name of this other fucking game now. Um, I can't believe I forgot it yet again. Wasn't it something dead or... Uh, I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, I would be more than happy to check out one of those games. But, oh, dead, not Dead Cells. Gambit. Death's Gambit. Death's Gambit. That's it. Thank you. I'm going to forget it in five seconds anyway. I really, like, a hole in my head. I can't remember this game, Death's Gambit. I don't know. Um, but here's the thing. Like I said, when usually when I play indie games, my viewership isn't interested. I don't know why. It's much like JRPGs. I love JRPGs, but a lot of the time I go to play them, in fact, my, my, my audience just loses interest. Okay? Um, so I don't know. You know, I well, here's the deal. This is me being very honest with you guys. I need something that's going to basically have a strong end to August. Right now, I'm worried because the month of July was great on Twitch, but the month of August has been much slower in regards to attendance and also in regards to participation and, and, and you know, people being supportive of various means, right? And I need to get something to reinvigorate to be, get people to start coming to the streams, especially now when the new games are about to start hitting that are going to be real big heavy hitters. You know, not We Happy Few that's a fucking fizzle out failure. So these big games are going to start coming out in September. I need to get people to get used to coming back to the streams every day and hanging out with me. So I need something to bring people in. Is a random indie game that everyone's already playing going to be that? You know what I mean? I don't know. You know, Dead Cells or or, or uh, Death's Gambit, is that going to bring people to the streams? Or is it going to be, oh my god, after six years, Phil's finishing the Grand Theft Auto trilogy, and we remember GTA 3 was the most rage-inducing one for him because the glitches and the fails, like, you know what I mean? Or, oh my god, Phil's going back for a redemption run in Dark Souls 3. He's going to play it in the, the optimized version now. Uh, you know... <clears throat> The, the correct early version of the game, not the early version he downloaded that was nerfed. And, you know, that's what I mean. Like, those things may bring people in. I'm not sold on random indie games are going to bring people in because they never do. You know what I mean? So, let's see. Let's see, okay? Um, but I, I do share your sentiments. I kind of agree that both Grand Theft Auto 3 and and Dark, Dark Souls 3, I've played other games in those franchises so, so, so close to now, you know, but... What would bring the people in is the question, right? <clears throat> okay. Eternal Napalm Cheers says it would be cool to see Dead Cells, but if you're enjoying We Happy Few, don't feel like you must quit it. Well, Eternal Napalm, it's like I said. Um, sadly, We Happy Few is a game that is running like duty, and it is becoming a chore now. So I'll give you an example. Last night I'm playing it. There's a mission. I'm trying to figure out how do I beat this mission. I fail. I reload the game to try again. Oh, it takes four minutes to reload. I fail again. It takes another four minutes to reload. So here's a mission that literally all the mission was was distract two cops and then search a body. It should have taken me two minutes, and it took, like, 20. And that's how bad the game is getting now. So I really think that with We Happy Few, in the, in the case of this game, this is an, ex a, a, an exception here where I need to take a break from it only because the game is so bad that I need to wait for them to fix it to come back and play it because it's really just not entertaining anymore for anybody, you know? Um... Not to say, like, last night also there was a, a yam that was apparently godlike and had magical powers. There was a mission where I was I was high on drugs going through a psychedelic house. So there was fun stuff. But, you know, when the viewers are like, man, this would all be great if the game would run properly, I hear you. And so I don't want to go through a game <clears throat> and waste everyone's time if they're not having fun. When I know I could wait and maybe go back to it later and actually play it and have fun, Okay. The Big Musky Werewolf Balls, my god. Cheerity says, Death's Gambit is a challenging 2D action platformer with deep RPG elements. It is an agent of death bound to his service. Unravel the mystery of Cyrodon and discover the true price of immortality. Woohoo. Uh, the real soy boy cheered. And he basically said the exact same thing about the narcissistic flower off of Narcissus again. So, okay. 
Uh, a goof called Wolf. Wolf? No, that's wrong. Let's try this again. A goof called Woof. Subscribe to the channel for the sixth month in a row. And says, she sells seashells by the seashore. Looking forward to a rage -a tomorrow. Thank you very much, a goof called Wolf, for six months of support. Um, and Solid Josh. Okay. Uh, cheered and says, Skyrim would bring people in. I don't know about that. Not to say that I wouldn't enjoy playing Skyrim again. Um, but what I think I should do, if I am going to do a Skyrim second run, is that I need to do it, uh, I need to do it close to, the, to like, like maybe within the, uh, for a year of when the next Elder Scrolls game is coming out. Um, and I need to do it during a time when I have a lot of fucking time. If you guys remember, Skyrim is my second longest playthrough ever. The only game that was longer was Persona 5. So if I'm going to be playing an 80 plus hour long playthrough again, I need a lot of time to do it. So I would need to make a lot of time to, to, to be able to play it. Maybe that's a summer downtime kind of a deal. You know what I mean? That certainly would not be, oh, I have a week and a half, two weeks left in August, and i got to balance this game with two other games. Let me now start playing Skyrim. That would be a, a bad idea. Okay. Uh, Sias Vise cheered and said, I'm surprised you kept your save for Persona 3, being how angry you were back then. Did you keep your Parasite Eve save too? Hint, hint. I'm sure I did. I don't think I deleted... Uh, many things. I don't know. Where do you look at your game, your save game files? Let me look here. I'm looking right now, actually. Save data utility. PS2. No, it doesn't look like I have, uh, Parasite Eve. I've got Grand Theft Auto Liberty City Stories. And I've got Persona 3. And by the way, holy shit, I played Persona 3 in March of 2016. So it's actually two and a half years ago. I didn't realize that I had played it that early in the year. Yeah, uh, that's all I got. That is all I got. I'm looking through all my... Yeah, yep. So, I don't have Parasite Eve. I guess that's never going to happen. It's in memory card saves? Hold on. No, I got Spyro the Dragon and Dino Data from Dino Crisis. I don't see Parasite Eve, I don't think. No, I don't have it. So, sadly, I guess I wouldn't be able to go back to Parasite even. That, these are all PS3 menu sounds, by the way. So, yeah, it looks like no Parasite Eve got... If you remember, I think the reason... Didn't my PS3 die, right? I think that Parasite Eve I had played before my PlayStation 3 died, and then that PS3 completely died. The video card blew out, and I had to go get another one. So, I think that's what this is. This is my replacement PS3, so I, Parasite Eve I didn't play on this one. Yeah. So, there you go. Okay, um, so there you have it, folks. Persona 3 today. How's this going to go? I hope we can beat it. I really do. I genuinely hope we can get this one done and say, okay, this is something now that, you know, is no longer lingering or whatever, um, you know, and we, we now taking care of it and we put it in the books as the one that, you know, yeah, it beat me two and a half years ago, but I was able to come back and persevered or whatever, um, you know. All right. All right, guys. Um, let's see here. Well, first of all, thank you to that Momo, Momo goon who cheered the top cheer for today. You know what? Let's check subs. I should check sub count because we have a few subs today and I don't, I didn't uh, update the sub count. How are we doing? 537. 537 subs. Let's update the counter. Thank you guys for your support as always. No tip today. So if you do tip me, you'll get right up there on the leaderboard, guys. There's no tips yet so far today, but hey, the stream is young. We haven't even started with gameplay yet, right? Um, reminder, tonight is Street Fighter, tomorrow's the rage -thon, okay? Um, also, before we start, let's take this opportunity to thank the top cheerers for the week. Let's do a rundown of the top cheerers overall for the week. In 10th place, we've got Number String. In 9th place, NHL Beast Mode. In 8th place, MPB Smith 2. In 7th place, Momo Goon, tied with Battle Duck at 7th place, which means in 5th place is DJ Runo. Fourth place, Silent General. In third place, Octoa. Second place, Infinite 55. And in first place, with that very generous cheer earlier this week, Emperor Swaggin. So there you go. Also, we got a couple more cheers. Let's see here. Um, Rock the Ice cheered. He says, could YouTubers even still play games like Rock Band anymore? Um, I mean, they could. But basically, they would make no money ever doing it. And there's potential 
that their stream would immediately get like shut down or not stream excuse me their video would immediately get like shut down muted or blocked because of the music rights and even if you're live streaming sometimes your stream can get muted or shut down um yeah it's terrible with this copyright music issue like rock band is pretty much dead at this point i don't think anyone would be able to play it anymore <clears throat> ripley atomic cheered he says persona 3 is like your career sometimes you might get beat but you keep coming back yeah man listen i dig that so i dig that notion i feel and you guys used to tell me this that i'm kind of the ultimate underdog i'm the guy that against all odds with no backing right of any kind of, of i don't have giant sponsorships i don't have massive support from companies or other other content creators i'm one guy who's always done his own thing in his own way and I've always faced tons of hardships and roadblocks and mountains, and I always find a way to get over them. I come back. I, you know, I don't let it beat me. Ten years, guys. Next month is my 10th anniversary. Holy shit. <clears throat> Ten years of my life. That's pretty crazy, right? Um, All right, shout out to Sayaker, who just did, tipped a dollar and says, I'll start things off. I love you, DSP. Thank you very much for the tip. Let me get you up there. One dollar tip. Very nice. Okay, guys. So, uh, let's end the pre-stream. I gotta use the restroom quick. Let me go use the restroom. We'll come back, and we're gonna boot up Persona 3. I'm really gonna need your guidance, guys. I'm serious about this. I'm really gonna need your help uh, to try to finish this off. Apparently, people are saying now there's two bosses before the final boss. What the fuck? Like, seriously, I'm not gonna remember this. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna remember the weaknesses of the enemies. I'm not gonna remember how, what item management. Nothing. I'm gonna need your help. <clears throat> so... I'll be back, and then we'll see you in four plus hours if I can finally, finally, after two year, two and a half years, finish this game. Okay. Uh, that douche kid cheered, and he said, "A shout out to a troll." No, I'm not doing a shout out to a troll. I'm sorry, I'm not. But uh, I will ban him right now. <laughs> there you go. He's banned. Very nice. Okay, let's end the pre-stream, and then, like I said, give me like five minutes to use the restroom, and then we'll begin. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Thanks.